What is up, Humanoid Nation? So we got another video from What Culture. Ten things WWE wants you to forget about 2015. You know what? I'm going to be lost a little bit here because I don't really watch Raw or SmackDown anymore. Because fuck PG era, man. It's getting boring as shit. But I do watch pay-per-views here and there because they're the pay-per-views. And of course I watch WrestleMania. But I do read, read what's going on in wrestling in the Fed. Yeah, so let's see what's gonna happen, cause yeah, they always want you to forget shit. Let's do this shit! Well, boys and girls, 2016 has hatched screeching and clawing from the fetid wound that was 20. Oh, 2015. Is number one CM Punk? They want us to forget about CM Punk? Never gonna happen. Yeah. With each passing year, we get the urge to look back at the year that was with fondness, remembering its greatest hits. That will be difficult for WWE. 2015 has been something of an anus horribilis for them. Look it up. It's not what you think it means. Scandals, fan backlash, and more injuries than they literally knew what to do with. It's been a rough 12 months. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com. And here are things WWE I mean, Sin Cara. 2015. The most injury pro guys. Instructions. Raw is currently called by a fish tank, a 94 year old Texan millionaire, and Byron Saxon, who's Michael Cole, but without all the bits that make him thrilling. They do a bad job. Byron Saxon is horrible, man. He couldn't even Randy Orton listening take on Raw by himself that one time when he just sent him out. like, hey, Brian, go do the announcement by yourself. Aren't even allowed he was dying. He had to send out somebody. Wrestling. The eight page document includes little nuggets like make topical references, e.g., Vince McMahon and Britney Spears have something in common. Entertainment. Now, to be fair, the memo isn't all bad. It says clever things like don't emasculate your co-host because if someone loses their credibility, we don't like listening to them. JBL to Michael Cole and everyone else to Byron Saxton. <laughs> Take it, somebody show it to Byron Saxton. WWE at its micromanaging worst and a damning indictment of how too many cooks make broth that is... Fuck, I did never understood that piece of that thing. I was gonna call Number it a piece nine. of shit. Hashtag cancel Too many WWE cooks, Network. I never understood it. Raw rumbles around the corner, and you know what that means? Time to dust off your booing trousers. Things are about to get indignant. The last two rumbles have been smothered. Horrible! Fans unhappy with They're WWE's fucking horrible! Contrary booking, and this year was the absolute worst. After last year's event was ruined. Oh, for fuck's sake, Batista. Even he okay, knew it was so. a... Okay. He was wrong choice. Brian in and then eliminate him early. troll la 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 Trolling the entire so audience. Eliminated, Goldust comes out with Shattered Dreams being the first word on the Titan Tron. Ha ha ha. You too, WWE. I did not get like that until now. Say, booing Roman Reigns Fuck. with BFF cousin and chanting for refunds. On Twitter, hashtag cancel WWE Network trended worldwide. Not many people did that. Like Some people did, but then they went back to it. Guy. In the fourth quarter of WWE conference call, Vince said he thought the controversy was great, which is terrifying, but with ratings down and Mr. Popularity still primed to be the number one guy, that complacency's run out, and WWE would not like the Rumble fans to remember... Roman Reigns becoming the Samoan John Cena. Number eight, Billy going, going, gum. Monty Sop, a.k.a. Mr. Ass, a.k.a. Yes, his name is Monty Sop. His real name. World, was fired in the his name is Monty Sop. After they found out about a suspension he'd received from the sport of powerlifting after taking performance-enhancing drugs. At the time, WWE didn't even know... Oh, Billy, never mind you are not the one. ...two bad surprises for the price of one, or as what culture call it, a Pachiti special. Apparently, when he was tested, Billy Monty Ass Sop Gun had nine <laughs> times gun. the limit of testosterone in his system. Nine times! Oh, nine shit, times I forgot about that! Missing entire dogs. WWE How do you miss that? Pretty strict on their wellness policy, and someone in a position of authority taking banned substances is very embarrassing. Almost embarrassing as the name Mr. Ass. Mr. Ass. I'm an ass I'm man. Exploiting Reed Flair's death. I like Don't to kick him. Fool you. you can have all the Susan G. Coburn months and be a star campaigns at once. Occasionally oh, fuck like the be a star thing. That's so the most isolated. hypocritical oh, bullshit they're it doing on there. Light some fire and the lukewarm feud of Paige versus Charlotte in the go home show for Survivor Series. Charlotte broke down in tears and mentioned that she was fighting for her late brother Reed, who died of an overdose in 2013. And that massive thump you just felt in your chest is something getting way too real, way too quick. Yeah, they... Now, WWE have gone to the recent. Yeah. Yeah. Before, and it's in the CM Punk Death angles feud. never but work this, on But wrestling. this feud for a three week build You're going to have Paige say Your little baby brother didn't have much fight in him Did he? And on top of that the WWE didn't even tell Reed's mother Elizabeth or Ric Flair about it And you have a recipe for a bastard company there Yeah WWE doesn't give a fuck match, And WWE want to move on The heartless sods 
Number six, the ratings plunge. Viewership keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. WW ratings are going down. Too much of 40. Dad reaching a historic and bullshit shit. Survivor Series, it averaged two. I said shit twice because it's that bad. Which is the first time the average has fallen beneath three million viewers since 1997. Remember 1997 when the company looked like this? <laughs> Somehow, WWE have managed to almost harm ah, the good old days. post WrestleMania rule this year. High five, team success. Believe it or not, ratings aren't everything to WWE. They still pull in more viewers than the average cable show. What the, the fuck happened to the Miz? He was, was on top of the world and yeah, nothing. Once WrestleMania season starts. Number five, Seth Rollins' penis. The junk is here. So I'm now someone who knows what Seth Rollins' penis looks like. Hashtag blessed. Now it's a perfect. I don't want to know what penis. Seth Rollins' penis it's a looks fine like. Penis guy. Never. Stop going on about it. No, seriously, says WWE. Stop going on about it. Earlier this year, Seth Rollins accidentally sent a nude selfie of NXT developmental prospect Zara Schreiber. Zara Schreiber. Zara Schreiber. Whatever. She's fucking hot. February, which is a bit iffy, considering he was engaged to a lady who is not her at the time. The lucky fiancé then sent pictures of Seth's cock and two balls out on social media in response because revenge is a dish best served with a dick on it. Evidently, WWE Why would you tweet nude dicks? Because they gave him the WWE God World damn it. That's the stupidest thing ever. Afterwards. As for the lady in the original nude selfie, well... Number four, Zara's Nazi pictures. Zara I forgot Shreda, about that Zara shit. Zara no wonder Shreda. she's no, Zara she is not around anymore, right? Company, but not because of a photo of her with all of her bits and pieces on display made onto the interweb. Nope. The reason she was fired was that in 2012, yeah, she uploaded yeah. two Nazi-themed pictures to her Instagram. How to succeed in business. One of the pictures was not a Nazi-themed to promote, not to So let's see, you've got Rainbow like Dash, Hitler. Twilight Sparkle, Thousand Year Reich. Yeah, ah, My Little Yang. Pony, the God damn it. Loaded was of a collage that also I cannot the swap. get rid of that when shit. When fans called for her to apologize, she responded, MLP follows me around. Which is a bold defense. Then the fans called on her to be fired. Now, WWE is a tad unwilling to associate themselves with Nazis after a WCW wrestler, Jeep Swenson, sparked outrage by calling himself the final solution. Yes, really. That was in WCW, though. When WCW was Number still alive. Number three, Jimmy Snooker. Now, there is nothing even slightly funny about this one. In 1983, Jimmy Snooker's girlfriend, Nancy oh, Arcino, died from fuck, a consistent with severe domestic violence. <sighs> Despite being the only suspect in the case, it went cold for 32 years before being opened again in 2015. In August, Snooker was arrested for third-degree murder, despite his counsel saying his mental and physical health was too deteriorated to stand trial. There's nothing but pain here. If he was responsible for Argentino's death, it's a truly monstrous crime, and WWE would have been justified in scrubbing images of Snooker from their site and removing his profile from their Hall of Fame. Yet they still have Number Mike two, Tyson. Bill DeMott, bad trainer. Bill DeMott makes a demon head Convicted like rapist. Charles. 90s reference. Where am I 30? Giles, I love that. Come on, I know that joke wasn't great, but after the last entry, we just need all the jokes we can Giles, get. I mean, not look, Giles. Here we are. It's Tag Team the Dicks. Ha 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 ha. All better. So I've got about the dicks. Like an awful human so being. embarrassing. Signed in March this year after hashtag Fire DeMott trended on Twitter, born by a legion of allegations of being a sh person. These include Build them out is awesome. harassment, slapping wrestlers with what? forcing trainees to be he does it old drills, school. homophobic and racial language. This is wrestling. Shot off Rusev after he just had neck Fuck. surgery and killing dogs with Some people rock. can't handle getting slapped around by Bill DeMott. Come on, man. It's bastard. wrestling. DeMott resigned before he was forced out, but not before the performance center got some absolutely horrible people. It's ain't ballet like everyone Number says. One, Hulk Hogan's racist. You know something, brother? Let me tell you something, mean Gene. That no good hoaxer ain't worth jack around here, dude. Hulk Hogan was very pop. That was rubbish. Hulk... Hulk Hogan was very, very publicly fired from WWE in July when the lawsuit surrounding a sex tape oh, turned up private conversations yeah. he'd had about being miffed that his daughter was seeing a black man. Cue lots and lots. So everyone finding creepy that he's dating a woman that looks like his daughter. Looks like his daughter. The world, Hogan was still Mr. Wrestling. Am I not the one to find that creepy? One of their biggest cash cows out back and put two bullets in his head because the milk had gone sour and the cow kept mooing all the people who weren't white and oh god look it's just been a bad year just leave me alone leave me alone and that's our list did we miss any out tell us about it in the comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe you can follow me on twitter here i'm adam from what was it cm punk 2015 or was it 2014 and i forget well, yeah, so much shit celebrate happened. the relentless passage of time by buying what culture's first ebook the 100 worst wrestling moments of 2015 written by andrew sosick with a foreword from me only three pounds it's currently the ranked number one selling wrestling book on amazon check the description for a link I need to get that book because i need to add it to my wrestling books especially wcw book written by those guys from 
Russell Crap. Yeah, Russell Crap. I forgot their name. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out what else we forgot about in 2015. Not uh, really, I can't think of anything like. Yeah, they, he pretty much got the basic stuff. I'm still trying to figure out if CM Punk was in 2015 or 2014. I'm a loss for words. I gotta look shit up. I still gotta look shit up. Oh, Alberto Del Rio slapping someone backstage. Was not that in 2015 when he got fired because of some guy doing a racial joke? Or was it 2014? God damn, they're all mixing in together. Anyways, what do you guys think? Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye. Divina Sea!